take a good long look at this word. It's called FUD. No, not Elmer FUD, but fear, uncertainty, and doubt. I'm going to use the beer thing. It is a propaganda tactic used in sales, marketing, public relations, politics, polling, and cults. Ooh, that's a lot. Of... <laughs> not just in the lamestream media. Uh, generally a strategy to influence people's perceptions by negative and dubious and false information. Manifestation. Anytime you see fear, like I've learned to just, when I see people lying, it's just, they're just showing me the truth. And it just, the truth comes out. And I've actually made a lot of money. Just watching these FUD stories, that's how I got in on Exxon. It was like there were so many FUD stories, and they're hitting them from three different ways. Um, I, probably that's not the best way to invest, but when I see a lot of FUD stories about something, I know that the options traders are some up to it, and they're just manipulating the media to get you to sell. Like when, um, when um, Robin Hood first came out, Um, the day they just had tons of FUD stories and, uh, was it, uh, Kathy Underwood just bought it all up and she's a big whale and she owns that ARC, um, stock. So, FUD meaning stock. Anyways, we're going to jump to, today is a really important day because it's the end of July, which... Everybody is pretty, I mean, one thing that everybody could agree on in this, in the crypto industry is everybody knew that July was not going to be a good month. And it wasn't the Chinese pulled the plug on all the Bitcoin miners. They told them three years to go to get the fuck out. Oh, excuse my language. Because I was going to put this on kid mode, but they, um, nobody can argue with me if I say something. <laughs> Anyways, uh. I am heavily invested in polka dot. Oh, I was going to do beer. Um, I'm really happy. Um, they're kind of like they're, it was. It's been a, was created by Gavin Woods. Let's let's pull it up. Created by Gavin Woods, the guy that started Ethereum, or one of the guys that started Ethereum. Um, polka dot is a protocol that enables cross blockchain transfers, blockchains, and blah 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 high degree of security anyways it connects all the coins together so this is like the internet of the um cryptos so like you have ethereum and they're building on top of ethereum they'll have like a layer two which is like polygon and then they're going to use cardano on top of that to run apps and websites and artificial intelligence and video games and anything that you can think of virtual reality banking um but like cordano is really not coming out till um next month their smart contracts because um they're so it goes on top of uh this goes on top of ethereum so it's a, it complements it um so these are the top ones the gainers uh, Filecoin, I don't know anything about that. Pancake Swap, that's in another world. Solano is supposed to be. Uh, I don't mess with that. Uh, here is great, but Cosmos, I'm heavily invested in that. Stellar Illumina. So I'm getting the Coinbase card or Coinbase card, which this is on Coinbase. I'm getting the card in the mail, and my choice was either to get. 4% back when I use my credit card or debit card in Stellar Lumina coin, or I could get it in Bitcoin. So I chose 4%, or yeah, 1% in Bitcoin or 4% Stellar Lumina. I'm going to get Stellar Lumina and I'll probably transfer it to Ethereum 2. Oh, I was talking about Polygon right there. Uh, that's a layer 2 and that's up. So everything is going to go up in August. Um, All the Bitcoiners that got kicked out of China, I hear they're all up and running now in other countries. They had to sell all their cryptos to make their move. So this chain link has just been off the hook. 
I was talking about Tron has got 30% of the Asian market. It's not tradable. I have that on, uh, what's that one? Um, eToro, but I made sure that I'm trying to, like, I don't own a whole lot of this maker, but this maker right here, um, I guess I can say something about it. Um, everybody talks about Bitcoin is going to shoot way up when it goes out of circulation. This coin has gone out of circulation. I don't know if it says it down here, circulating supply. Oh, it looks like it is in circulation. I don't know. I was looking on some other chart. I don't know. This is the DAI. It's the stable coin. This is where all the money go. It's connected to it. Um, let's see if it says it connects to Ethereum. It doesn't say it's a utility token. Uh, let's not waste all our time on that. Uniswap. I love Uniswap. Cardano. I was talking about that. So, so these uh, crypto companies or websites basically and when they do come out they're going to be just hundreds of thousands of times faster than the websites and apps now and they're just going to make the apps now look like garbage but like yeah this cardano is uh going to use ethereum and then it's going to go to polygon and then it's going to go to cardano so three coins three coins in action to create an ultimate app Ethereum Classic, um, they just did the Magnifico upgrade. Um, this is like it, when Ethereum went to their went to a hard fork. The Ethereum Classic broke. This is the original Ethereum, and then Ethereum changed. Um, soon, when it goes to the London fork, Ethereum is going to go from proof of work to proof of stake. Um, there's my crypto.com. Um, I got that credit card through them, and so I get Dogecoin. It went up a little bit. Um, I heard the other night that the secret whale is a uh, Robin Hood. Um, no one, uh, Elon Musk was trying to figure out who the secret whale was that owned a third of the Dogecoin. So I was talking to a friend at work, and he said that, um, he had to sign up for the Robin Hood Gold, which you pay five dollars a month, it's free for the first month. So we had to sign up for the upgrade in Robinhood just to buy the Dogecoin. And then the Dogecoin shot up like crazy after that. But it turns out that it was the actual Robinhood company. They were kind of manipulating things. But when it became an IPO, um, they had to report all their holdings. So it came out that, yes, um, the secret whale for the Dogecoin is Robinhood. Oh, and why didn't you invest in... Hopefully they do the same thing with Shib, Shibu Inu. Um, XRP, Bitcoin Cash. Yeah, they were on the loser list a couple hours ago. So at midnight, um, it's going to start August. But everything is doing... And this is the list of losers. Kind of mad. Um, they paid me in crypto just to learn about their system. Um, so I've got a bunch of those, but it's only down 0.90% and it's been jumping up. Uh, Bitcoin is a loser. It's really, and that's the rat Bitcoin. So it, it mirrors Bitcoin. Um, let's not go into too much detail. Um, I wanted to talk about one more thing. Oh, this is over like 10 minutes. Yeah, my BlockFi is way up in this uh, basic attention coin is just shooting up. I'll show you the percentages. Come on, come on. But yeah, you can see uh, Bitcoin's a little bit down. I just got a price alert that... Uh, Ethereum just shot up. Yeah, it's Uniswap is up. This basic attention coin was um up fifteen percent earlier. It's not as up. Um, I'm heavily invested. Well, I don't. I just have a bunch of money in that. Um, uh, 
it's up to 71 i'm really cheap like i bought it I, I i will not buy it if it's under 50 cents and when it's going up i'll never buy it again i guess the, my big question is and i kind of was gonna ask you guys and i don't know what to do but this uh dai which i think i was talking about earlier it's attached to the maker coin it's a stable coin which i was getting I was getting 8.5 percent um i can go on coin or crypto.com and get 10 percent if i want which i'm thinking about and uh so this was 8.5 percent it just dropped down today to 7.5 percent so i i don't know i might just hang in there i don't know you know i don't know supposedly i had it out if i put a thousand dollars in there in five years i will have five thousand dollars but with seven percent um i'd have to recalculate everything i was thinking about throwing it all in um into pax gold which is a uh, two percent but I think I have to hold, I just, like, I've only had this, uh, account for two, three weeks now. Yeah, I guess I've made $3 in interest. I own mostly Ethereum. Um, I guess I could buy Bitcoin, but I, I just, I don't know, Bitcoin to me is just like a landline, and I want the smartphone, which is Ethereum. Um, people keep on saying that it stores value, but if that's the only reason why you're buying it, because it stores value and it wastes electricity, and you know you get a Bitcoin miners and Ethereum when it goes to 2.0, I'm not 100% sure. I think when a uh, London upgrade, but I'm sure when the Ethereum goes to Ethereum 2.0, they will eliminate Bitcoin mining. And I think I'm not 100% sure, but I think they might eliminate mining when Ethereum goes to. Uh, the London upgrade, which might happen in the next week. And then um, they're just gonna burn coins all the time and the Ethereum is supposed to just shoot up like a madman. I'm not 100% sure, don't quote me. Um, I have a degree from ITT in electronic engineering, so I know a little something about all this stuff. Um, all the stuff I went to college for all of a sudden starts making sense. Yeah, I've been delivering pizza for like 30 years. I'm not using my degree. I, so I know a lot about scams and I know a lot about engineering. Um, I guess that's about it. Um, like I said, I'm, I don't know. I, I just kind of want to invest in gold. I don't know. I just... I just have some feeling. I mean, I'm real cheap. Cryptos are all down. I'm... Anyways, this video is over.